Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's your Weather Extreme video for this Sunday, May the 19th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. Here's the radar at 645 this morning showing showers and thunderstorms across Mississippi and central Louisiana. The storms are still severe early this morning over central Louisiana. They're west of Baton Rouge. Tornado warning still uh, for uh, St. Landry Parish uh, in Louisiana at this hour. The area around Opelousas. Severe thunderstorm warnings also. Uh, very uh, distinct look of uh, damaging winds there uh, with that um, Boeing segment there over central Louisiana. You see a tornado watch outlined in purple. It goes till 10 o'clock. The activity luckily weakening though as it moves toward Alabama. Some of these showers will get into western Alabama later this morning. Uh, continuing to weaken as they go, probably falling apart uh, almost completely before they reach the Birmingham area around noon. Around 2 o'clock, we expect that uh, stronger area storms to be still holding together. A little MCV, uh, a mesoscale convective vortex there, uh, swinging across southern Mississippi into western Alabama. Uh, the storms over the northern part of the state will be on the uptick by then, too. We could expect uh, some possibility that we might see um, uh, a warning or two out of these uh, storms, uh, severe thunderstorm warning uh, are possibly along the way, damaging winds, quite the possibility uh, this afternoon. Again tonight, um, another batch of thunderstorms develops to our northwest, begins to slide on into the southeast here into Alabama, and again, we'll have to watch those. Uh, I don't think they'll get too much out of hand, but um, we could see a strong thunderstorm or two there um, late this evening across north and north central Alabama. Now, this, the showers and storms weaken overnight. Um, we get up into the uh, middle and upper 80s today. Clouds will be increasing from the west. You'll notice uh, a breezy southerly wind uh, by afternoon. Uh, <clears throat> with dew points climbing into the middle 60s, it'll begin to feel more humid. Uh, but um, as we go through the overnight tonight, we'll drop into the 60s again. And uh, then by 10 a.m. on Monday, we'll see those showers beginning to weaken as they start to move out of the area. Now, we go into uh, a period of uh, much drier weather and uh, much hotter weather as a little heat wave envelops us, but Monday night we'll be watching with interest to the west. Uh, our friends in Oklahoma and North Texas will be dealing with a severe weather outbreak, a significant severe weather outbreak as a matter of fact, uh, including the possibility of uh, significant tornadoes. This is the SPC severe weather outlook for Oklahoma and North Texas for Monday. Uh, so showing the emphasis uh, over western Oklahoma, uh, areas from Woodward down to Lawton up to Oklahoma City and Ponca City will be in the crosshairs on Monday, and we'll be watching that, of course, uh, with interest as we go through the uh, afternoon and evening hours. Now, by Tuesday, you see uh, high pressure beginning to take control of Alabama's weather. Sinking air associated with that high pressure will lead to much warmer temperatures. We'll see highs in the 90s by Tuesday. And they're going to stay that way right into the Memorial Day weekend. Now, uh, by Thursday, we see high pressure firmly in control of Alabama's weather, keeping us dry, temperatures in the 90s. Not uh, much difference for Friday or Saturday. Of course, the SEC baseball tournament will be uh, invading the uh, Hoover Met. Great week for baseball in terms of weather. And it's always a great tournament out at the Hoover Met. But this is, uh, this is Saturday. And then as we go forward into Memorial Day, finally that ridge breaks down just enough to perhaps allow a shower or two over northern parts of the area, but they would be few and far between and rather inconsequential. The rest of the, uh, the forecast is basically a temperature forecast. Uh, we'll be um, in the middle to upper 80s today, uh, calling for um, 90s on the GFS tomorrow. That might be a little optimistic. We'll say 88 and then uh, clearly in the 90s for the rest of the period, 95, 96, not out of the question for Friday and Saturday. Now, you say, boy, that's unusual. Well, really it's not. Um, we do see late May uh, heat waves uh, in Alabama and along the East Coast, and they're quite often followed by uh, backdoor cold fronts, and uh, that's probably what will happen Memorial Day. A little cold front will come in from the Northeast and sort of um, weaken things. Now, let's go forward. Uh, to Voodoo Land, Friday evening, May 31st, showing our next good chance of rain. 
uh, hopefully the GFS is right about this because by then we're going to be quite dry and uh, getting a little concerned about it. Uh, for right now, though, across central Alabama, in pretty good shape except for western Shelby, Bibb, northern Chilton, and that little corridor up through Talladega into Claiborne counties. Uh, lawn and gardens are a little thirsty, uh, probably ready for a drink. The rest of us in pretty good shape. Now, uh, one other thing, to uh, one other interesting thing to talk about besides the severe weather outbreak on Monday. Um, we do have a, a chance that we'll see a subtropical or tropical storm uh, possibly develop there between the uh, Bahamas and uh, Bermuda. So we'll be watching that closely to see if, um, if that can actually develop. The uh, National Hurricane Center putting that chance at about 40%. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday, May 19th. Until next Sunday, when I'll be sitting in this seat again, I'll tell you to keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking, what can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clogged line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just to click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing.